There is a lot in Indian heritage and traditions that one can get inspired from. Of course, there is no harm in learning from others and other cultures, but also there is no harm in getting self-inspired. Also, I would like to mention that in every society there are dark elements, and India is no exception. Copying men is not empowerment. Making the same mistakes that men make is not empowerment. Doing only what men do is not empowerment. By copying men, women are restricting themselves, and whatever there is a restriction, there is no real empowerment. Whether it's economy or education or science or medicine or any other field, women are very capable. But we must remember that competing with men is not empowerment. Self-realization of your own unique inner strengths and being confident in who you are is very important. And as a society, we must create an atmosphere that allows that. As a society, we must create an atmosphere that encourages that. And as a society, if we lack that atmosphere, we are going to face many problems. And I think that Indian heritage and Indian traditions must be reintroduced to those who do not fully understand them and who do not follow them properly. Women empowerment does not mean that women have to become more manly or that men have to become more, more feminine. Women are not here to replace men, and men are not here to replace women. Both are here to coexist and uh, balance each other out. And let us, let us not forget that if we want to have better sons, we also need better mothers, because better mothers are more likely to raise better sons. And that is why understanding the importance and real meaning of Shakti is so relevant in our everyday life.